Hey everyone, welcome back to Droip. In today's video, we're diving into something super exciting, our brand new text animation feature. We'll walk you through how to create multiple types of animations step by step so you can start adding that extra flair to your sites. We've already got a landing page set up in Droip, so let's jump straight into it. All right, first up, we're working with the title text in the hero section. Let's select the text, click on Add Interaction, and choose Scroll into View as our trigger. Now to bring the text to life, we'll hit the little plus on the scrolled into state, go to Text Animation, and pick Stagger. Boom! The default animation is applied, but we're going to fine tune it a bit. Let's make this one, Animate Character by Character. So, we'll set Apply to as Character. Now, change the time to 0.6, set Weight to 0.02, and push Offset Y to 100 so it slides in from the bottom. Lastly, set the easing to Ease In Out for that smooth motion. Looks pretty slick, right? Next, let's add another Stagger animation in Scrolled In to view to this text this time with slightly different settings to show how small changes can create a whole new feel. We'll set apply to as word, so each word animates in one by one. Then adjust the time to 0.8, keep the weight at 0.02, and set offset Y to 24 for a subtle upward motion. Finally, choose ease out to give it a soft, smooth finish. And just like that, We've got a totally different vibe. Let's check it out. All right, now onto something a little different, a fade to bold animation. Here's how we'll do it. First, duplicate the text you want to animate. Rename one as faded text and the other as bold text so we can keep track. Next, assign each a subclass. Let's call them faded and bold. Now, head to the effects panel. For the faded text, drop the opacity to 25%. Then set the faded text element to absolute positioning and make sure they line up perfectly on top of each other. Now for the animation part, select the bold text, click on Add Interaction and choose Scroll into View as our trigger, and add the text animation, shoot. For the settings, we're keeping it simple. We'll apply it to words. Set the offset X to zero, and keep the time at around 0.2 seconds. But feel free to play with that if you want a snappier or slower effect. And just like that, your smooth fade to bold animation is good to go. Let's check it out. For our next text animation, let's switch it up with a blur effect on this section. We'll start by selecting the title text, then add a blur text animation under the scrolled into view interaction. Now the default blur is applied, but let's make a few adjustments to customize it. First, we'll set apply to as character, so each letter blurs in individually. Then we'll set the time to 0.6 seconds and the weight to 0.02, keeping that nice staggered rhythm. For the scale, let's bump it up to 1.3, this adds a slight zoom effect as the text appears. We'll add a bit of movement by setting offset X to 24 and keep offset Y at zero since we don't want any vertical shift this time. And finally, we'll go with ease in out to keep the motion smooth from start to finish. With those tweaks, we've got a cool, soft blur animation that adds some flair without being too much. For this section, we're going to apply the same text flip animation to all the texts. Let's start by selecting the first one and adding a text flip animation under the scroll into view trigger. Now, let's set it up. We'll apply it to characters, set the time to 0.6 seconds and the weight to 0.02 for a nice staggered flip. For the rotation, we'll set rotate X to 90 degrees and keep rotate Y at zero. And we'll use ease in out to keep everything smooth and natural. One important thing to note here, we're not adding any separate delay. Since we're using the scroll into view trigger, the animation for each text naturally gets delayed based on when it enters the viewport, so it all flows in perfectly on its own. Lastly, let's create another fun animation using the shake text effect on this section. 
We'll start by selecting the first text and adding a shake text animation under the scrolled into view trigger. Then, we'll tweak the settings. Set it to character, with time at 2 seconds, weight at 0.02, .02, and offset X at 20 to give it that playful side-to-side -side motion. And of course, we'll use ease and out for a smooth, natural feel. Now, for the remaining texts, we'll keep all the settings the same. But here's a fun twist. We'll increase the delay by 0.1 seconds for each one. That way, they animate one after another with a nice ripple effect. And just like that, you've got a whole lineup of awesome text animations powered by Droid. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. And hey, drop a comment to let us know which animation is your favorite. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.